today's morning power of call. We have set the time a little bit different today. We're not doing our normal time, uh, but we have our normal content. We have information for you guys today. When I say we, I mean me. I love doing these calls. I absolutely love gathering together with you guys every morning to share some insights, share some guidance, and in this case, share some key perspectives you need to have as a man if you want to be successful. This is going to be a good call. We're going to talk about some fun stuff. First, I'm going to check, make sure the audio works, and we're going to dive in at that point. The audio works. All right, we're good to go. So first off, a little bit of housekeeping. For the legions, I have added a new series of 14 quick videos that are about the advanced um, aspects of persuasion that you need to understand if you want to be successful at outreach. These are on top of the stuff you learn inside of boot camp. I've sort of expanded on some of the concepts in there. I have given you guys some nuance and some deeper understanding to the principles involved. There aren't any templates. There aren't any like step-by-step -step guides. These are principles that you can use that you need to apply creatively if you want to be successful. So if you haven't looked at that already and you finished the boot camp, definitely go take a look at that. It's going to help you as you set up stuff inside of your legion. The other important housekeeping is this December, we are going to be setting up the squads and the platoons. That's going to be happening. That's going to be my main focus um, now that I've released this video content for you guys. So we'll be setting that up and giving you guys some infrastructure to make it happen. But again, you have to realize that even with the infrastructure, it's not so much that it happens. That, like The infrastructure isn't what's going to give you the success. Your choice to use squads, your choice to use um, a platoon your choice to use the legions for what they were designed to is what is actually going to give you the result. It's what actually is going to give you the extra power, the extra, uh, the extra eyes on your work, the extra things that you need to be successful. So as we're building that out, realize that you're still going to have to find ways to give it your all. Um, you're going to have to find ways to create the squad that you want to be a part of, right? It, the culture of it, that whole thing is going to be on you as an individual. So if you're willing to rise to the occasion, make that happen, you'll be successful. Let's talk about the core of today's morning power up. Now, what I'm about to share with you, the concept, this idea, this perspective is, if not the most important difference between someone who's inside the matrix and someone who's outside the matrix, if it's not the most important, it's probably one of the top three. This is one of the major, major differences between someone who is free and someone who is a slave. And again, like all of these ways that you, you are being controlled by the outside world, you're not actually being controlled by the outside world, right? They try, they, they change and they attack your beliefs. They attack your expectations of life. But at the end of the day, you have consented to every ounce of slavery that you've been, um, that you are participating in, in your life, right? You have the power to change your mind and free yourself. The tools to free yourself are already here. And the things that I'm going to talk about today are going to help you implement these these beliefs they're going to help you free yourself i'm going to talk about one of the greatest ways that they trap you right i've talked about a lot of things i've talked about different beliefs they put inside of your mind i've talked about fear but i'm going to talk about perhaps the greatest enemy to your growth as a man and how you can overcome it everyone knows the the meme right good times create or strong men create good times, good times create weak men, weak men create bad times, bad times create strong men, and strong men create good times. And it goes over and over and over again in a cycle. If you want to stunt a man's growth, if, if you were, let's say you were the enemy, and you wanted to stunt your personal growth, like if someone was looking outside of your life, they were the enemy, and they were looking in at your life, and they wanted to stunt your growth and keep you from being successful, the best thing they could do is give you comfort. Comfort is the enemy of growth. Once you have comfort, once you have ease, once you have your basic needs taken care of, if you're not careful, that will rob you of ambition, right? Comfort, putting someone in a comfort zone is the best, is the best thing you could possibly do if you want to stop them from ever pushing forward and becoming anything more than they are currently at this stage of their life. At least for men, right? For men, we're designed to be outside, we're designed to be outside of the comfort zone. We're supposed to be at war or hunting in the mountains. And the safe, nice, comfy people are like, those are the women and children back in the tribe. But that's where they're supposed to be, right? When they get thrown into the wilderness, they aren't happy. And if we stay inside of the comfort zone for too long, if we stay inside the village for too long, 
the nice comfy bubble of success and easy friends and easy movies and easy dopamine and easy food, easy, this easy, that if you stay in a place where you feel comfortable and think life's easy, then you will not progress the same as a man who does not feel comfortable. All right. You need to find ways to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Nothing good comes from the comfort zone. The only thing that happens in the comfort zone is stagnation and eventual death. I have paid very close attention to men over decades of their lives, right? I've paid attention to family members. There are men who stay in the game. They stay pushing forward their entire lives and they stay young. They feel young, even in their 60s, 70s, even 80s. They feel young because they're in the game. They're pushing themselves beyond their comfort zone. The men who give into their comfort zone at 40 feel way older than that. They feel older than the 90, some 90 year olds I've met, right? Men who give into their comfort zone in their 20s and 30s seem empty, right? If you look at your life, you will realize that a big part of the way that the matrix controls you is it tells you to seek comfort and it tells you that comfort's okay. Comfort is a lie. Comfort is the biggest lie that is being pulled over your, your, the wool being pulled over your eyes right now is the fact that is this idea that you should be comfortable or that it's okay to be comfortable. I am never comfortable at my stage. I wake up every morning ready to go to war, knowing that I am losing if I don't move forward. I know that there is, I, I can feel the impending economic challenges that are coming. I can feel the, the impending changes in our world. I know that if I want to set up myself for success and set my sons up for greater success on a global scale, I need to be doing more. I am losing. There are people out there who are working harder than me and I need to outwork them. I wake up and I feel this from the second I wake up. I have a hard time falling asleep at night if I haven't worked for 12 hours because I, I know that I, I could have done more or should have done more. Obviously, you need to take time to recharge. You need to sleep. You need to eat well and you need to push forward. But the idea of comfort, comfort, you cannot pro progress when you are comfortable. You have to make yourself uncomfortable. And a big part of that is who you choose to surround yourself with, right? It's easy to feel like you are winning if you're surrounded by losers, right? If you're just surrounded with your friends from you, when you grew up or your school or whatever, most of them are average losers, right? And it's really easy to feel like you're winning because all you have to do is like one or 2% more than them. And you feel like you're great, right? If they never go to the gym and you go to the gym every day, you thou are the cool guy, right? But if you truly, but that's, it's like competing with kids. That's like a, that's like saying you're a really good boxer because all you do is fight 12 year olds, right? it's a lie, right? If you want to get better, if you want to improve, you need to realize your true competition. That's other people inside this program. That's people on a grander scale. You have to realize that there are people out there who are, who are going to be working harder than you unless you bring in your all. I ran a, I did a little question in the general chat inside of the, um, inside of the real world. And I posted, it was something I posted on Gitter a while ago. And it was like, Hey, if you knew that tomorrow, God and his wrath, would destroy the bottom 99.99% of humanity, the bottom lazy percent, 99.99% of humanity. How would you live today differently, right? And it was cool, right? Like people have said some stuff. One guy, he's kind of trolling, right? And he's like, oh, 7 million, that's a pretty big number. I'm probably good. I was like, dude, gamble away if you want. Because in my mind, I think, you know, we're you might be working hard, right? But are you working as hard as that kid in the sweatshop in Indonesia? Like he's just working like for. 20 hours a day. Like, are you working as hard as he is, right? Or are you working as hard as the obsessed guy on Wall Street who is just like, he is, he is in this case, like he is abusing substances so he can work harder. Are you working? I mean, don't abuse substances. Obviously, that's bad for you in the long run and bad for you in the short term too. But like, are you truly working as hard as you should be? Have you realized who you should be competing against, right? Because it's not enough just to be the top one in a thousand, right? If you want to be the best at what you do, you need to realize that you are not giving as enough right now. You need to realize that comfort, the distractions, the easy food, easy entertainment, easy life that you have is a lie. It's being pulled over you. And if you if you buy into it, if you think that's enough, you will stop progressing. You have to instead throw away comfort and, and get angry, get pissed off and get a little bit worried. Get a little bit of a low grade anxiety running, knowing that you should be doing more to, to be better and to achieve your goals. Right. I live like this and it's helped me progress nonstop for years, right? It's helped me go from doing nothing in copywriting to being extremely, extremely successful as a copywriter, skilled at what I do and capable of helping businesses and making a lot of money because I, I never allowed myself to get comfortable with where I was at. I always got pissed off. I always got a little worried. I always got a little, little paranoid, just a healthy level of paranoia, a healthy level of respect 
for the competition I was facing. And I always chased out new opportunities to push myself forward. And a big part of that is who I surround myself with. I've chosen to surround myself with killers, people who are extremely, extremely good at what they do. Some of them are better at fitness than me. Some of them are better fighters than me. A lot of them are better fighters than me. Uh, some of them are, but not all of them. Uh, a lot of them are better at relationship. There are all these different things. I've always sought out people who are better at things than I am. So I feel uncomfortable. I feel like I need to catch up. And it's helped me progress at a speed you cannot imagine, right? Until you start doing it. And I encourage every single one of you to do this with the new squad, squad structure. Find people around you and realize that if you're not bringing your A game, it should you should be worried that they are going to beat you. You should be competing healthily against each other, holding each other to the standard. So that you can keep going, right? You should compete against them and not just the losers you have in your life. That's one of the fastest ways to get to get uncomfortable in a positive way and push yourself towards success. If you can go in and read the wins inside of the real world, like through all the campuses and not get pissed off, not get worried that you're not doing enough, there's something wrong with you and you need to fix yourself, right? Get uncomfortable. Allow yourself to be fully uncomfortable with the situation of your life and it will propel you forward, right? No change was ever made. No, no, no important change or growth was ever made in my life when I was living in my comfort zone. It's only when I've gotten out of my comfort zone, left the safety of the village, gone out into the wilderness and chased meaningful goals, fought meaningful opponents. That's the only thing that's helped me grow. I'm going to check real quick. It looks like we have a super chat type of thing. I've never seen one of these before on this. Thank you very much. C go three. You said words of wisdom. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, thanks for taking the time to send a message. All of you guys, I'm, I'm really appreciative of the time you guys take to hop on these calls. I really, they're, they're not terribly structured. They're not, I don't like have like it all scripted out. I speak my heart. I speak my feelings. I speak the things that have helped me. I, I share things that I know will help you. And today's call is no exception. You should all be extremely careful of comfort. If you ever notice yourself feeling or getting comfortable, realize that someone else is beating you. Like, it should be a warning side. Like a alarm should go off in your brain. You shouldn't feel okay with comfort. You should always be seeking a new challenge or seeking a way to push forward. Comfort is your enemy. Difficulty, stress is what's going to push you forward. You need to embrace it if you want to be all you want to be. It's been a good call. Um, take advantage of the new materials. I'll be in the chats answering questions today. Um, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to talk with, to, to join the call and listen to me as I share these in, these insights, which have been helpful for me. I'm excited here. You guys are implementing them. I'll, I'll probably do a little mini exercise instead of the mindset channel today around this for you guys to participate in some reflective questions and uh, we'll keep, we'll keep moving along. So it's been a good call. I will talk with you guys again tomorrow.